Sometimes Hollywood does know best. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie adaptations no one asked for, but were great. We're taking a look at unexpectedly great movie adaptations that no one saw coming. This doesn't mean that fans of the source material were necessarily dreading the film, just that there was very little demand for it. Let's get to it. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Pirates of the Caribbean – The Curse of the Black Pearl Typically, studios turn to books, comics, or in the case of Disney, fairy tales for inspiration. You know, source materials that offer a semblance of depth. I'm terribly sorry I didn't know. If I see one, I shall inform you immediately. So many were rightfully skeptical when Disney announced a film loosely based on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. The 2003's Curse of the Black Pearl ended up not only being among the year's highest grossing films, but it was a huge hit with critics. A swashbuckling adventure that harkens back to the days of Errol Flynn, Pirates of the Caribbean proved that there is no such thing as a bad idea. Why then? I confess. It is my intention to commandeer one of these ships, pick up a crew and tortuga, raid, pillage, plunder, and otherwise pilfer my Weasley Black Guts out. I said no lies! Number 9. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Blending live action and animation, Who Framed Roger Rabbit is a stunning cinematic achievement that has not lost an ounce of charm since 1988. Please, don't worry, whatever you say, yes ma'am, aye aye sir, okie dokie. Despite being an adaptation of Gary K. Wolf's Who Censored Roger Rabbit novel, the tone, plot, and characters all underwent significant changes. You had plenty money, 1922. You let other women make up. Why don't you do right? While the original novel works as a satire of hard boiled detective stories, the book was still quite a niche product and was greatly overshadowed by the movie adaptation. A story set in a world where tunes and humans coexist is simply begging for a visual medium. What's up, Doc? Jumping without a parachute? Kinda dangerous, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Number 8. Brokeback Mountain An adaptation of a short story by Annie Prue that was originally published in 1997, Brokeback Mountain went through quite a lengthy production process before finally arriving in theaters in 2005. While Brokeback Mountain was certainly a topic of discussion before its release, that had less to do with its status as an adaptation and more with the themes and subject matter tackled in the movie. Oh, yeah. Along with boasting two great performances by Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal, Brokeback Mountain wound up being one of 2005's best movies. winning multiple awards and garnering recognition as a significant landmark when it comes to representation in mainstream cinema. Number 7. There Will Be Blood Paul Thomas Anderson's 2007 epic about the 19th century oil boom is a tour de force of filmmaking. Say it louder! I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my boy! There Will Be Blood earned Oscar nominations for its direction, cinematography, film editing, art direction, sound editing, and of course, acting. So, uh, my standard offered us a million dollars for the Middle Boston leases. I told H.M. Tilford where he could shove that, and we made a deal with Union on the pipeline. And that whole ocean of oil underneath our fields. 
Perhaps slightly surprisingly, There Will Be Blood was also nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay, as Anderson's movie was based on a 1920s novel called Oil by Upton Sinclair. Despite using the book as a starting point, There Will Be Blood mainly does its own thing, so even if someone wanted an adaptation of Oil, they didn't get it. I'm gonna bury you underground. Oh, oh. Underground. Number 6. The Paddington Franchise Paddington Bear has been a staple of British literature since the late 1950s, spawning countless story collections and a couple of TV series. As Paddington's fame is predominantly restricted to Britain, there was not too much hype surrounding the character's 2014 live-action cinematic debut. Oh, stranger danger. What? Keep your eyes down, there's some sort of bear over there, probably what? selling something. Not only was the movie adored by critics and basically everyone else, but Paddington also spawned a sequel that was somehow even better. Yes? I just wondered if I could have a quick word about the food. Send a medic to the canteen. You want to complain? Charming and filled with heart, both Paddington films are rare family flicks that cater to everyone, rather than just kids, while also serving as a loving tribute to Michael Bond's character. Um, nice weather for the ducks? Oh. That was amazing. Number 5. Shrek with a very early 2000s soundtrack, tons of Disney parodies, and jokes coming out of both ends, Shrek is hard to imagine outside of the confines of cinema. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. In truth, Shrek is based on William Stieg's award-winning picture book, a children's story Hollywood had been interested in adapting since 1991. Although the book and film are about an ogre saving a princess and pride themselves on undermining conventional fairy tale tropes, any similarities are only superficial, as DreamWorks was primarily interested in the concept behind Shrek. What are you doing? Y you know, you should sweep me off my feet out yonder window and down a rope onto your valiant steed. You've had a lot of time to plan this, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Even if not many people were clamoring for a Shrek adaptation, the same cannot be said about the movie's sequels. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Better out than in, I always say, eh, Fiona? Number 4. The Shawshank Redemption Hollywood loves Stephen King, even if the resultant movies tend to be a touch inconsistent. While Carrie and The Shining were ripe for adaptation, 1982's Different Seasons, a collection of short non-horror fiction stories, is a deeper cut in the esteemed author's bibliography. I like to think they were singing about something so beautiful it can't be expressed in words and makes your heart ache because of it. I tell you those voices soared, higher and farther than anybody in a great place dares to dream. Twelve years after the collection's release, one of King's stories was adapted into The Shawshank Redemption, an emotionally captivating tale of a man's undying hopefulness despite being faced with two consecutive life sentences in prison. I could see why some of the boys took him for snobby. He had a quiet way about him, a walk and a talk that just wasn't normal around here. He strolled like a man in a park without a care or a worry in the world. In 1987, King sold the novella film rights to the Shawshank Redemption's director for around $5,000, as the story did not seem like a good fit for the big screen. Sometimes even the original author fails to realize a story's full potential. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Get busy living, or get busy dying. Number 3. The Lego Movie Just because something is popular does not mean it deserves a movie. Good morning, apartment. Good morning, doorway. Morning wall. Morning ceiling. Good morning, floor. Ready to start the day. To say that The Lego Movie was a nice surprise would be an understatement, as even Warner Brothers was wary of the film's chances. Before release, 2014's adaptation looked like a shameless example of product placement, a commercial masquerading as a film. Relax, everybody. I'm here. Batman! Basically, the Lego movie could have been the Emoji movie. Shockingly, the Lego movie ended up being funny, heartwarming, splendidly animated, and expertly written. Even the sequel is pretty decent. Sparkles. 
although the spin-offs are a bit hit and miss. Number 2. Guardians of the Galaxy Compared to the likes of Iron Man and Captain America, Guardians of the Galaxy is a far more obscure property, at least before the team's MCU debut. Star-Lord. Who? Star-Lord, man. Legendary outlaw? As the comics had revamped the Guardians in 2008, this iteration was still relatively young. If that was not enough, Guardians of the Galaxy is also a space opera, a genre that fell outside the MCU's normal blueprint at the time. Guardians of the Galaxy was a risky move for Marvel, but the film wound up charming its way into pop culture relevance and helped set the stage for the MCU to further explore the cosmic scene. The beast hide is too thick to be pierced from the outside. I must cut through it from the inside. Huh? <laughs> no, no, Drax! Wait a minute! Drax! Guardians of the Galaxy is the best surprise Hollywood ever gave us, with the exception of our number one pick. But before we get there, here are some honorable mentions. That Hansel's so hot right now. And if one does what God does enough times, one will become as God is. If I have to tell you to shut up one more time, I'm gonna shut you up. I just came over here to talk to you. To talk? Well, if you'll excuse me, I have to, um, um is there a little girl's room in the hall? Oui, oui, madame. No, I just want to powder my nose. It's 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Blade Runner Philip K. Dick left an undeniable mark on the sci-fi genre. While quite a few of the author's novels would be made into feature films, they were all released after the author's passing, and many even opted for a different title. It's artificial? Of course it is. Must be expensive. Very. Based on Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, Blade Runner was the end result of a decade-long struggle to create an adaptation, followed by an even longer battle to release a cut of the film that would do justice to Dick's novel and director Ridley Scott's vision. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it is to be a slave. Blade Runner was not a commercial hit upon release, but it is now considered a landmark in sci-fi cinema. Blade Runner is the movie we didn't know we needed, but it was the one we deserved. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM. And check out this video. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here. That's right.